Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on my uh, fridge fermenter. What I was able to do on eBay a little while ago was I was able to pick up an uh, STC 1000. This is the Inkbird version. Let me get in a little closer there. This is the Inkbird version. We'll actually show you Fahrenheit. This unit was about 14 bucks. I got a project box from a friend who had gotten in at Radio Shack. So what this actually does, it's got, it's a thermostat, but it has two sides to it. It has a, a cool, a cool side and a hot side. It reminds me of the make DLT commercials from the back in the 80s, keeping the hot side hot and the cool side cool. Anyway, um, old references aside, this is where I have my refrigerator. So if, if the temperature here gets too high, the thermostat will say, okay, turn on the cold. And what that'll do is that'll drop the temperature down. And then I have over here, I have a personal heater, which I have running into the fridge. So this is a... Uh, what is this called? It's called My Heat. That is the name of the box there. And what I have it turned on, but it's not on now because it's not um, cold enough for it to turn on. But during the past couple of months when it's pretty cold out, this thing was going pretty well. And then I have the thermostat for the SCC 1000 just in some water right now just to kind of check the temperature. And uh, it actually is pretty accurate. But obviously, I'm not going to put this into my wort. I'm just going to slap it on the side of my fermenter, maybe throw some tape on it or something like that. But the, the cool thing about the uh, this Inkbird, the SDC-1000, is I'm able to take this and I can control my temperature. So I actually have certain settings that I can say, okay, I think right now I've got it at the low side, 67 degrees, the high side, 72. I can get even more precise with my, um, with my settings so I can change the fermentation uh, temperature to get to be 72 degrees or 76 or, you know, you know, maybe if I'm making a saison, even bump it up even higher than that. Uh, so this is certainly worth it. I also did buy, happen to get uh, a duplex and a and a box here and a plate, I should say, for uh, for the unit. It's it's really very simple, and I would really suggest you do it. And what I did was with the thermostat I had from the old video that you watched, I was able to put into my kegerator, so this way my beer stays uh, where it should be. So anyway. Definitely check the out, look online, STC 1000, and it's, it's really worth your while.